The Freedom Service Dogs Organization is seeking local dedicated volunteers to join their puppy raising club and help train the next generation of Freedom Service Dogs. Erin Conley explains more. Tell us more about the overview for the most part of Freedom Service Dogs. So Freedom Service Dogs is a Denver-based nonprofit and we provide custom trained service dogs to individuals with a variety of disabilities completely free of charge. And we serve veterans, children with autism, and adults with a variety of mobility challenges. Now is it, this may be a silly question, but is there a high demand for service dogs? Or is it something we just think there's a high demand for? You know, there really is. For example, mm -hmm. on our waiting list right now, we have more than 80 people who have gone through the application process and been approved to get a service dog from us. And we are one of um, the many organizations across the country and across the world that uh, train service dogs. So if you think about it in that way, there is a high demand mm -hmm. and I think people are really seeing how much these dogs can and change lives and give people more independence and um, the freedom that maybe they have kind of lost with their disability. Yes, absolutely. Now I will say that we ha tend to have guests on this show that are very nervous about coming on. However, um, I don't think Partner's one of them. <laughs> no, he's, you know, he is he such a good He just basically fell asleep right here in the studio. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Well, Partner is about five months old and he is in the early stages of training to become what we hope will be a service dog. And so far he's doing really well. Um, you know, right now he's just simply napping at my feet. That's exactly <laughs> what we would like a service dog to do in this situation. Mm -hmm. um, he's absolutely wonderful and we're really excited to see um, mm. To follow him on his journey that we hope will end in him becoming a service dog. Oh yes, absolutely. So tell me what a volunteer puppy raiser is. This sounds wonderful. <laughs> like where do I sign up? Yes, it is absolutely wonderful. Um, this is a very, very dedicated volunteer job because you are bringing the puppy into your home. They live in your home 24-7. Um, for sometimes it can be as long as seven months. Okay. Um, there's a lot of training that uh, is expected, so you're coming to Freedom Service Dogs to get training and make sure that your puppy is up to snuff and meeting all their milestones. Um, so it, it does take an extra special person who's dedicated and willing to do that because of course what we hope is that the puppy will become a service dog and then you have to say goodbye to them and send them off on their, their new career. Um, so that's difficult but it's also extremely rewarding to know that you've played a part in changing someone's life. No, absolutely, and the higher good there, obviously, is to be kept in perspective. You mentioned up to seven months. I think people also have to realize, I know I just joked about what a cute job that is, but it's a very serious job. It's something that you really have to take responsibility for in this. Is it longer than that? Could a puppy be in someone's home for longer than that period of time? I mean, really be ingrained in terms of taking uh, part of your, you know, your life away from you in a way to dedicate to the dog. I mean, potentially, it, it does kind of vary. I would say seven months is about the average. Okay. But the good news that I should mention is when you get the puppy, they are um, about five months old, sometimes between five to seven months. Oh, okay. So they are generally already housebroken, crate trained, and they have some basic obedience. We work closely with our partners with the Prison Trained Canine Companion Program, so they provide that foundation for the puppies so that when our volunteer puppy raisers get them, they have a little bit of experience. So we're not handing you okay. an eight-week-old puppy. that makes puppy. sense. All right, see, because I kept thinking, wow, only seven months, that's not a long time. But if you don't get them until they're almost that time, then that makes more sense. Okay, so what do you say to someone out there thinking, all right, I want to be a volunteer puppy raiser, or I want to just be involved with this program or support it in some way? Way. I say it's such a wonderful way to give back. Uh, we, Freedom Service Dogs provides a lot of support so you're not alone. We're not going to expect you to know exactly what to do with the puppy. We will guide you and make sure that you're set up and that you feel supported. And also oftentimes the puppy raisers end up becoming really good friends and you know they're seeing each other on the weekends, they're doing outings together and getting their puppies together. So they create bonds as well. So it's just a really unique way to get involved, have a puppy in your life, and then be able to give back to a person with a disability who really needs um, the life-changing support of a dog. Join Freedom Service Dogs Puppy Raising Club. The group is also looking for foster volunteers. You can get all the details at freedomservicedogs.org or go ahead and call the number 303-922-6231.